first things first, if you don't want to listen to me go through this entire thing talking, just look in the description. I'm just going to list everything down. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your concealability below 20 and place body bags around the area if you're solo stealthing. I'm also going to put ammo bags down because I've got a saw as my primary weapon, which is a weird build to have, an enforcer slash stealth build. But anyway, you're going to need two ECMs as well. Well, you can do it with one, but it's usually easier with two. First thing you're going to want to do is find the security room. Now, the security room can be in one of two places, and that's either at the bottom of the stairs, at the door I'm about to go in now, see, right there, or it could be behind the, um, the teller's office. Now I'm just going to walk out here, mask up, better kill that guard first though. Now it's important to for me to tell you that normally this doesn't happen. Normally all three of the guards are inside just walking around, checking out the place, doing all their shit. Yep. Now I'm gonna take out the security guard in here. I'll also show you a quick snippet of what to do if the security room is on the other side of the um, building. Now, there's the manager right there. Don't want to go in just yet, because otherwise he'll be alerted, and if there are any guards in the corridor, then they will see that and then start shooting. I'm going to quickly mask up. Usually there's a camera right there on the left side of the wall, and usually there's also one in the corridor. What I'm going to do now is check for guards. Nope, that guard just left. Usually I just, if there is a camera above here, I just place an ECM and go in, or camera loop, or whatever. Just open the door, shoot the guard, and do all that good stuff. But because the ECM is going off, I can't actually answer the pager yet, because I've got upgraded ECMs and all that. Oh dear. Now, if your ECMs aren't fully upgraded, they won't be able to block pages. So, just keep that in mind. Also, my pager time is reduced due to the burglar perk deck and all that. Alright, now, go out, get the manager down. What you're going to want to do at this point is, after killing the camera guard, kill everything that pretty much just roams the building. So anything like guards to the manager. Manager, you don't need to kill him. You can just tie him down, but he has to be out of sight from all the guards. If I can just quickly find where they are. There's one there going behind the teller's office. <coughs> one there just exiting the photocopy room, it looks like. At this point, you want to kill the guards in a place where you, where no other guard can uh, see the body. So, like usually the photocopying room or behind the teller's office. If I just check upstairs, make sure there's no guard there. Those skylights, people can see you in, so just be careful about that. Better open this door as well. Because once you kill all the um, all the AI that are roaming the place, you're going to want to take out the tellers, and you're going to want to take out the um, civilians that are in the offices, that are right outside the um, photocopying room. Because there are two panic buttons, one outside the, um, one outside here, 
and another one in the teller's office. See that? Right under their desk? Yeah. Those two need to pretty much be killed so that they don't raise the alarm. And the tellers also need to be killed so that they don't do the same and raise the alarm. Ah, it's always annoying when that happens. I'm just going to wait for the other guy to pop out. Can't really see him right now. Don't know where he is, which is always a problem. I could just actually cut this bit out. So, uh, yeah, once all the guards are dealt with, I'll show you what to do then. Now I'm quickly going to show you what to do if the guard is going into the photocopying room. Basically because all other roamers have been taken out apart from the other guard, only one guard Sorry. goes through the Sorry. photocopying room at any time. So it's a perfect place to actually kill all the guards and make sure that their bodies can't be seen. Obviously there's another guard so I'm going to have to bag this body and wait for him to go through the photocopying room as well. Alright so I managed to mark the other guard and now he's going into the photocopying room. This is the last guard now so once all this is done I can get to killing all the civilians that might actually alert the police using the panic buttons. But because this is the last guard and the manager has been put in the uh, security room, basically I don't need to bag this body because no other people are just going to get up and walk through the photocopying room. Kill that guy. That guy. There's usually a guy sat at that desk there, but he's not there right now. Kill those two. And now this room is clear so that the panic button, I don't have to worry about it. Now I'm just going to go around the back and kill the tellers because the tellers are really annoying when it comes to panic buttons. Deploy an ECM just to make sure no one calls the police during this time. Now because I've got such a low concealability, usually people aren't threatened by it, so I just shoot anyone who doesn't work like that. I'm just going to kill that guy because that guy's always annoying. Turns out I needed to kill him because I'm not going to have enough um, cable ties to actually tie him up, so I'm just going to bag his body, chuck it in the bank so that no one else can see it. Right now there are two other civilian roamers just walking around the streets, but because I've got a saw, I'm going to need to take them out pretty soon as well. But first I'm just going to place the thermal drill and get the vault open. Now, this way of stealthing it usually works for any bank heist it can be for Bane's bank heist it can also be for day three of Firestarter it it's it's pretty good just get all my body bags because there are two civilian roamers there's always going to be two I've never seen any more than two on the map at once I'm just going to break that window because the uh, loot van is on the other side of it you can use ECMs to open ATMs and you don't need to upgrade them to do that it just it just happens quite lucky both uh, both civilians are pretty close by Kill that one bang him Now once these are dealt with, you can just easily just go back and saw open the ATM, saw open any deposit boxes inside the vault. That's the main reason why I've got the um, saw, is for the vault, because honestly it takes 6 seconds to pick a deposit box, and it just takes like 
two seconds just to sort it open, so it's usually easier to bring a saw with you. If you're doing it with other players, then that will also be easier because one person can control the teller's office, the other person can control the um, the other panic button, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm pretty sure that this is. Oh wait, no. I just uh, move this hostage. The reason why I moved this hostage is because last time I kind of saw the face open and yeah, didn't go too well. All right, so just look around for packages and all that stuff. There's usually money in here, but there can also be a safe on the wall in the manager's office. Drills going to take just under four minutes. All right, and now to just doss around for a bit, do whatever the hell you want to right now. There are no civilians that are going to get up in your grill and call the police. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this heist. Just wait for the drill to be open and uh, just wait for the drill to open the vault, sorry. And that's usually, um, it's usually GG. Right, I'm just going to stop this here because I'm pretty sure none of you want to hear me rambling for any longer. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, dislike, comment, subscribe. I I don't really mind. I'm just doing this for fun, so yeah. Ratings aren't really that important. Cheers, anyway, though.